everyone, Randy here, and I want to show you folks how to use the Drive Control Mod. Now, for starters with the Drive Control Mod, folks, we're starting on the Farming Simulator 17 folder here, because I want to show you folks how to enable and disable certain things in Drive Control before we actually get into the game and show you some of the uh, features here of Drive Control. So for those who are not familiar with Drive Control, it can do all kinds of stuff. At least back in the Farming Simulator 15, it did all kinds of stuff. Not quite as much anymore. Pretty much got the shuttle, four-wheel drive, and differentials. We got cruise control, nearest to fill levels, pipe cam, implement controls, and soft gas. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what soft gas is, folks. As far as I know, with the uh, keyboard, it just kind of gives you a little bit slower start. That's to my knowledge, anyway. So anyway, we open up the uh, drive control config here, and it works best if you have Notepad++. Uh, Notepad++ just makes it easier to uh, read all this stuff. Um, if you open it up with Notepad, it, it doesn't give you the uh, color, so it's not quite as obvious as to what is what. So like I said, Notepad++ makes this much easier. So if you want to turn something off, in my case, folks, I have the uh, shuttle turned off. So you simply just change the uh, value from true. So originally it was true. You just change it to false. So if you don't want four-wheel drive, just go down here, move out the true, and change it to false. And now drive controls, four-wheel drive, and diff locks will be turned off. So in any case, with that, uh, we'll go into the game here, and I'll show you folks some of the uh, features here of drive control mod. Okay, everyone, we're in the game here. And first thing I want to show you folks is the four-wheel drive and diff locks. So it's going to be left shift four, five, and six. So left shift four turns on and off the four-wheel drive, which is the little green icon in the HUD there. You can see that uh, turning it on and off also uh, messes with the radio. I will make a note. Shift five and six turn on and off the diff locks. Also the radio. Again, I'll note that. So a little bit of a key conflict there, but shift left shift four, five, and six are for the four-wheel drive and diff locks. And with this tractor, it's probably not going to make much difference. This tractor has probably enough power and traction to pull it regardless of if any of those are on. And uh, to my knowledge, folks, as well, if you have those on, it will actually increase fuel consumption. So just make note of that. As far as I know, it did back in uh, Farming Simulator 15. I don't know about uh, 17 here, but I'm assuming it does here as well. Like I said, I can't uh, confirm that, though. Uh, next feature, we are going to go down through the uh, cruise control options. So again, that is going to be left, shift, and three. So first, left, shift, and three, you're going to get a hand symbol down in the bottom HUD again. It says 100%. That simply means the vehicle is going to stop when it is 100% full. So if you're harvesting, uh, if you're making bales, anything that's going to fill up the implement or device, tractor, combine, whatever, it will stop your tractor, combine, whatever, when you are 100% full. Now, obviously, with the uh, cultivator here, I can't uh, demonstrate that because it's never going to fill up or empty. Next option, shift three again. going to be hand at 0%. Uh, example of this would be the fertilizer spreader or the seeder over yonder. If you're uh, seeding or fertilizing and you run out, it will stop your tractor when you're at 0%. Next option, kind of like two little green arrow looking things. That simply means it's going to match the speed of your nearby tractor or combine. Uh, most common scenario I can think for that, folks, would be chopping or unloading a harvester. So if you like multiplayer or single player with a hired worker, you have the hired worker running the chopper or combine. You can use this symbol, the cruise control mode, and you can match the speed of your harvester. So anyway, we're just going to hire this to demonstrate that a moment. Um, I don't obviously have a harvester out here, but I can demonstrate this this way. If I can uh, catch up with them anyway. So I'm just going to drive up to him. I'm going to hit three. And not get in his way, obviously. And drive control automatically took the same speed as the tractor next to us, the Fent. And we're now matching his speed. And you notice, too, when the tractor slowed down, immediately we slowed down. So a pretty cool feature there. It simply just matches, like I said, best uh, scenario I can think of, folks, would be harvesting or chopping. 
So here again, I'm not I'm not controlling the speed, folks. This is completely drive control. As the uh, Fent tractor speeds up there, our tractor speeds up. And you note when you get to the end here, when he slows down, we will slow down again. So there we go. Another feature I probably can't really demonstrate again, folks, is the uh, soft gas feature. Again, to my understanding, it just is supposed to improve the handling of gas and brake here in a uh, farming simulator, especially for uh, keyboard users. Don't honestly know exactly what it does other than it's supposed to improve it. So, Okay, then if we head over to a combine here... Drive control also has a pipe cam, which I probably can't... Oh, I get out in a wall. Nice. Let's uh, try the other combine. If we open the pipe up... Once the pipe is open, and we hold down the right alt key, we can get a pipe cam. So you can actually see if your pipe is over a trailer. Uh, this is supposed to work for choppers as well, though I've never tried it. Uh, choppers and sounds like even the wood chippers from what I read in the description. But just hold down the right alt and it will switch to a pipe camera. And like I said, pretty much just use that if you're like unloading or something. You want to make sure you're actually over a trailer. Okay, and then one last uh, feature we'll demonstrate here. If we head back to this tractor here a moment. And we'll drive over to our cedar here. And we should be able to demonstrate this feature. Uh, you folks may notice a little green 0.0% there in the HUD just underneath our fill level. And if we drive next to our cedar here, you can see that number change. It's now 69.3%. That is showing the nearest fill level. So in this case, should be the fill level of our cedar here. Watch if we check it. Hey, look at that, folks. 69%. Also shows us the fill level in this tractor of the fertilizer spreader, I'll note. Again, folks, another probably a good multiplayer feature there. Uh, if you're running multiplayer and you have someone chopping and another person running the uh, cart, you can actually see from the chopper the fill level of the person that's running the uh, tipper for you. So you can kind of see when he's 100% full. So anyway, folks, I think that's most of the uh, features here in uh, Drive Control Mod. Like I said, not as many features here in 17 as there was in 15 since most of it's built into the game. Um, for example, manual ignition is now built into the game. The uh, camera controls that came with drive control are also built into the game now as well. So anyway, you folks have any comments or questions here about drive control, leave them in the comments below. And as always, folks, thanks for watching and until next time.